everybody. Welcome back for another fun science lesson provided by the Naturalist Educators at Truckee Meadows Parks Foundation. Today we're going to be talking about the life cycle of rainbow trout. Before we get started learning about the life cycle of the rainbow trout, let's first cover the basics. First of all, the study of fish is called ichthyology. Therefore, someone that studies fish is called an ichthyologist. Scientists like to classify things using the following pyramid. Trout are part of the family salmonids, which also include salmon, chars, freshwater whitefish, and graylings. So what exactly are trout? Trout are a group of many species of fish that usually live their lives in freshwater lakes and streams. Trout are important ecologically as a food source for birds of prey, bears, bigger fish, and even humans. In fact, the Nevada Department of Wildlife releases sterile rainbow trout, meaning they can't have babies, to teach communities about trout and for recreational purposes like fishing. There are many different kinds of trout in the world. The Lahontan cutthroat trout is native to Nevada and is the Nevada state fish. The Lahontan cutthroat trout is threatened, however, work is being done to restore their population in Nevada. We can distinguish the different species of trout by looking at the colors, stripes, head and body shape, and their spot pattern and color. Rainbow trout, specifically, are torpedo-shaped and tend to be blue-green or yellow-green in color. They also have a pink stripe along their sides, a white underbelly, and, a, and small black dots on their back and fins. Rainbow trout can live up to 12 years, but on average, they live about 4 to 6 years. The rainbow trout is native to the rivers and lakes of North America, west of the Rocky Mountains specifically. However, they have been introduced to many parts of the United States for fishing and recreation. In Nevada, the Nevada Department of Wildlife specifically releases sterile trout because rainbow trout are not native to Nevada, meaning they are not from here. They do this so that rainbow trout cannot outcompete and diminish native fish populations, such as the Lahontan cutthroat trout. Now that you have a bit of background on rainbow trout, let's get into their life cycle. In the beginning, a female trout will dig a nest or a red in the gravel to lay her eggs. The male trout will then release milt over her eggs to fertilize her eggs. Due to their ability to camouflage as gravel, the trout parents leave their eggs to develop on their own. The all rainbow trout start out as eggs. Trout eggs have black eyes and a central line that show healthy development. Depending on water temperature, the eggs can take between 20 to 100 days to hatch. The colder the water, the longer the eggs take to hatch. Trout eggs prefer temperatures between 50 and 55 degrees Fahrenheit. Once hatched, the trout have a large yolk sac used to, as a food source, so they don't need to be fed. During this stage, they are called alvin. Each alvin slowly begins to develop adult trout characteristics. In order to avoid predators, they stick close to the gravel until it buttons up or eats all of its yolk sac. This stage usually lasts between two and three weeks. Buttoning up occurs when alvin absorb their yolk sac and begin to feed on zooplankton. At this stage, the trout are called fry. Fry swim close to the water surface, allowing their swim bladder to fill with air, which also helps them float through the water. They stay in this stage for about two weeks. When a fry grows to two to five inches, it becomes a fingerling. When it starts to develop large, dark markings, it, it then becomes a par. At this stage, the trout like to eat a variety of macroinvertebrates, like mayfly and stonefly nymphs. Once a juvenile, a trout avoids predators, including wading birds and larger fish, by hiding underwater, in underwater roots and brush. As a juvenile, a trout resembles an adult, but is smaller. During the juvenile stage, trout are not old enough or large enough to spawn or have babies. In the adult stage, female and male rainbow trout spawn in autumn. Trout turn vibrant in color during spawning and then lay eggs in fish nests or reds in the gravel. Adult rainbow trout can reach up to 20 to 30 inches in length and weigh up to 53 pounds. 
Trout always return to their birthplace in order to spawn their eggs. All trout have instinctive homing signals that occur internally when it's time for them to reproduce. Rainbow trout usually make this trek when they are about three or four years old. Their long journey back upstream takes a lot of energy and is also very risky. They must overcome many obstacles, including dams and waterfalls. Trout must also evade predators such as bears, raptors, otters, larger fish, and humans. Additionally, trout must overcome human impacts on their habitat, such as pollution. Weather patterns can also affect the trout's journey upstream. For example, extreme droughts can leave water levels too low to spawn, and high waters from high snowfall or rain can decrease fertilization rates. For these reasons, only about 5-10% to 10 of rainbow trout will make it through the early stages of life and the journey upstream to spawn. Rainbow trout are iteroporous, meaning they can spawn more than once. Salmon, on the other hand, are semelperous, meaning they spawn once and then they die. So, once trout make it back upstream to their birthplace, the life cycle of the rainbow trout repeats itself. Thanks for tuning in to another Truckee Meadows Parks Foundation science lesson. We hope you had fun learning about the rainbow trout life cycle. To keep up with the latest Truckee Meadows Parks Foundation news, follow us on Facebook at Truckee Meadows Parks Foundation or Instagram at TM Parks Foundation. Have ideas for other scientific topics you would like to learn more about? Leave a comment in the comment section below with your ideas. Until next time, don't forget to be a steward.